Underspins are not just baits that you use in the wintertime. You can use these in the spring, and these work extremely well around shad spawns. Let's talk about it why. Hey guys, Ryan here at Fish North Georgia, and today we're going to be talking about underspins. Underspins are baits that everyone talks about in the fall, late fall through the winter time, uh, early, early, like right before spring. These are baits that work really, really well on highland reservoirs. They also work really well on some of the other grass lakes and stuff that might be uh, spread out throughout the southeast. But they really get a lot of their attention on these highland reservoirs, specifically ones that have uh, deep water around them um, and specifically also ones where shad herring blueback herring are the predominant forage in terms of bait fish but all you ever hear about with underspins is winter 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 but this is also an extremely viable bait in the spring especially around shad spawns and especially around herring spawns the reason why is because this bait with the flash of the sp of the blade that's on the bottom of it puts out a little bit of extra vibration not the same that like what a spinner bait does but when you throw this up there close to the bank where maybe a shad spawn is going on or something like that this bait works extremely well of course, you know, anything swim bait wise, you know, just like this one right here, that's got a, a Kitek on the back of it. This is a spot choker. Um, anything like this one, you know, they work really well. They're great, great, absolutely great bait fish imitators. But I think they get overlooked a lot in the spring. Um, in the springtime, what you can do to really start having a lot more success with one, you know, in the winter, we use the underspins. We, you know, we throw three eighths, half ounce, uh, all the way up to, you know, like five eighths, even three quarters in some places, depending upon how deep we're fishing. But one thing that's overlooked in the springtime is like this one, which is a Sugar Hill Bait Company, a quarter ounce underspin. Okay, a quarter ounce underspin with something like a 3.3 Kitek or a 2.8 Kitek on there, or even a 3.8 style Kitek, you know, the three probably most popular styles uh, in terms of throwing them on little swim, little swim baits is what we'll say, in terms of throwing them on jig heads or on underspins like this one is the fact that it's a single bait and it looks like something that is getting away. It looks like a shad. It looks like a herring that might be getting away from where the spawn is actually taking place up there close to the bank. This quarter ounce one, you can throw it like on a spinning rod with braid to a fluorocarbon leader, or you can even throw it on a bait caster. But uh, this is an extremely, extremely versatile bait when it comes to shad spawns and herring spawns. I know right now, here we are the first of May, right now we are catching fish out here in some of these North Georgia Highland Reservoirs on underspins with little 2.8 Kitex, 3.3 Kitex, and we're throwing them up there close to the banks where those shad are spawning, where those herring are spawning. It works really, really well. Rather than having to deal so much sometimes with treble hook style baits or flukes where sometimes they just won't quite eat it very well, you've got a single point hook here that when they get it, they thump it really good and you have a very good hook set onto them and a single point. I love single point point hooks especially around herring spawns and shad spawns with baits like swim baits the reason being is because you never know what's going to bite you might have a four or five pound spot on you might have a big five or six pound large mouth on that's up there around where shad spawn or herring spawns taking place and this bait will absolutely get it done it works really really well now how to fish it Easy, easy to do. You take that underspin, you throw it up there close to where you're going down the banks or something like that. You throw it up there close to the bank where a shad spawn or a herring spawn could be happening. The little areas leading up to shad spawns, a herring spawns. It works really, really well. Keep it just out of sight when you're retrieving it. You'll get a thump, one thump, and you'll set the hook and they'll have it. It works extremely well, especially in situations where bass have seen spinner baits and chatter baits and flukes and topwater plugs this looks a whole lot more like an actual shad or a herring 
especially with that blade right there on the bottom coming through. It has a little bit of vibration, a little bit of extra flash, and it will absolutely slap wear them out on this. We are catching fish on these right now. It works really, really well. You can put a lemon in the boat if you're a tournament fisherman or if you're out there fun fishing. Go out there and see how many you can catch in one day. This doesn't dictate upon the sun or the overcast conditions if you have them on any particular day that you're out on the water. This works really, really well when the sun's up, but it also works really, really well in the morning with that little blade and then just that entire profile right there that you see with this spot choker. Spot choker underspins, Sugar Hill bait company underspins, fish head spins, they're all viable. Get you some Kitex, something like that, like a three threes, three eights. And then the ever favorite right now, the 2.8. The little tip about the 2.8s compared to the bigger ones. Yes, the bigger ones will get you more bites. However, it seems like over the past year, especially up here, that the 2.8 size will catch anything. It doesn't matter what size bait they're feeding on. They may be feeding on bait that's three, four inches long, which would call for a 3.8 size style contact, but they will still eat this 2.8. So the 2.8 is extremely good to throw. The spot chokers in, in particularly, you can get the quarter ounce ones with a little two out hook, thread one of these little 2.8s on there. It absolutely gives the boot tail action on the Kitek the best action that it can possibly get with the free swinging, which as we know, if we're throwing Kitex, is probably the most important thing, is having this little free swinging boot action. It looks more natural, it gives a good little pulse out there on the bottom, and of course, obviously, you have that blade that's back here spinning. Just throw it out there, nice steady retrieve, just like this, keep it just out of sight, you will get bit. If you like videos like this, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more. Thanks guys. Yes.